Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. I want to do a quick updated video on how to install and use LUTs. I feel like a lot of people will hear about what a LUT is, that it can instantly stylize your image, and they hurry up and download a LUT only to realize that uh, I don't really know what to do with it. So here's a basic guide on how to actually do something with them. Here at Ground Control, we have quite a few different free LUTs. These are LUTs designed to help color correct your footage based on the camera that you use. So we have LUTs for D-Log on DJI, S-Log 2 and S-Log 3 for Sony cameras, Technicolor CineStyle for Canon, Protune on GoPro, Cinelike D for Panasonic, BMD Film and BMD Film 4K for Blackmagic cameras. And those are available for free download. We also have a bunch of Pro LUT packs, which are also designed for your camera, and they actually add stylistic grades to your footage as well as do the basic correction. If you get LUTs from Ground Control, You'll download a zip file, which has the actual LUT files inside of it. Most of them say .cube, but there's also additional formats .mga and .3dl. And the first thing you have to do is unzip this folder to somewhere that makes sense. I'll just extract this to my desktop for now, and I'll open it up in my browser. Once you have it unzipped, you'll notice that you can't double click on these. If you do that, Windows is gonna be like, what's going on? And if you do that on a Mac, it'll actually look like they're executable files and you'll be all kinds of confused. So what in the world do we do with these? Well, a LUT is really kind of like a preset. So it's not an app in itself, it just works with an existing app. So let's take a look at how this works in Premiere. Here I have a shot that I want to add a LUT to. If I open up my Lumetri color panel, there's a bunch of different sections I can use to stylize my image, but in the creative section, there's a dropdown called look. If I click on this and go to browse, I can tell Premiere where my LUTs are and it will apply each different LUT to my footage. So again, this works more like a preset than anything else. So that's how you basically apply the LUT inside of Premiere. And the neat thing is if you go up to basic correction, you can adjust your image before it hits the LUT to do some of that fine tweaking and get it looking just the way that you want with that style added on top. Now, if you're excited about color grading, you're probably into DaVinci Resolve, and in DaVinci Resolve 15, it's actually really easy to use these LUTs. When you have the LUTs installed properly, you can open up your LUT browser in the upper left and pick whatever LUT pack you like from the list, and you can just mouse over the thumbnails and quickly see what each LUT does. It's really awesome. And when you want to apply the LUT to your footage, just double click and it will add it to whatever node is selected in your node tree. But how do we get the LUTs to show up here in the LUT browser? There's no way to browse for them. You can't drag them in or anything like that. What you have to do is go down to the settings cog right here in the lower right hand corner. And about halfway down on the list, there's something called color management and scroll about halfway down through color management to where it says lookup tables. There's a couple buttons here that say update lists and open LUT folder. If you click open LUT folder, this brings up the folder on your system where Resolve looks for LUTs. So all you have to do to install the LUTs is just copy and paste the folders from the LUT pack into whatever directory makes sense to you inside of that Resolve LUT folder. Once those are copied over, you can close your Explorer window and back in Resolve, hit this top button that says update lists. Then it's gonna think for a minute. And once it's all done thinking, you can hit save and the LUTs will be available in the LUT browser. And in the newest version of Final Cut Pro 10, loading a LUT is really easy. Go over to this button right here, which is your effects panel. And under the effects list, hit color. And with your clip selected, just double click custom LUT. And right here under LUT where it says none, you can go down to choose custom LUT and navigate to whatever LUT you want to use. I'll use the Apex Protune LUT and there it is on our footage. You can also dial back the strength of the LUT using this mix slider. So there you go, there's a really quick guide on how to install and use LUTs. If you have any questions about this or if you run into any problems, don't hesitate to reach out info at groundcontrolcolor.com. We also have a contact page on our website. My name again is Casey Ferris. Thanks for watching.